right, this is the general adaptation syndrome model applied to fitness. So here we see our current fitness capacity. So this is whatever fitness capacity we're currently uh, referring to. So it could be strength. For example, this could be your current uh, one rep max back squat. Then we're going to introduce a stimulus, some type of stress, which is going to cause fatigue. An example of this is if you came in here and you were doing um, uh, your one rep max, you worked up to your one rep max squat, that is going to cause you fatigue. If you then attempted to retake that one rep max squat right after that, you're not likely to hit it because of that, uh, that stimulus and that stress caused you to fatigue. Then we're gonna have recovery, compensation, and eventually super compensation to adapt to better handle that level of stimulus in the future. So that will be our new fitness capacity. So hopefully this is a higher one rep max back squat. However, if we don't continue to induce some type of stress and let this cycle continue, we'll, we will eventually have detraining. So there's a perfect kind of time frame in here for how we want to introduce stress and stimulus. If we introduce it too soon before we've had time to recover, all right, we will continue to move downward and that would be overtraining. And if we wait too long, our body will not see that same stress and it won't adapt to it and it won't continue to progress up and we'll actually have the detraining. All right, so there's three different areas and three different timelines uh, that this cycle is gonna occur over. Our nervous system, our tissue, and our energy stores. So depending on what the stress and the stimulus is, it's gonna create a different levels of fatigue and different time frames for recovery in each one of these. So for example, uh, a super heavy back squat uh, would be uh, highly stressful to the nervous system would cause a, a significant amount of fatigue, but not so much to the tissue or energy stores. Likewise, if, a, if we did a 50 mile run, then the energy stores would be significantly depleted, um, but it may not cause quite as much tissue damage or uh, stress in the nervous system. And then also if we did, uh, let's say, three sets of 10 on back squats with a 10 second negative each, that would create a significant amount of tissue damage. It would, it would definitely place some stress on the energy stores, but may not be as stressful on the energy system. So each one of these is gonna have its own time frame for which it takes to actually get to full recovery. So that's something we have to take into consideration when we are programming out our uh, training plan.